We're so happy that you're here to take a look at our central AC system that has been built from a converted window unit. Well, this is what it looks like, and we're going to show you how we put it together, so stay tuned. That's where it goes into the tiny house. And this plenum box is where it pulls its air from the tiny house. The first thing we had to do was buy a high efficiency window unit. This is a 12,000 BTU unit, way bigger than we need for this house. But this baby's just going to have to idle in order to cool. So we built a frame, and then we pulled the face off. And we had to cut a few little tabs off with the grinder. I'm sorry that um, I'm not showing you as we did it. We lost that footage. That's my poor videography, but hopefully it will get better. We removed the control wire right there, and we cut the control, uh, excuse me, we removed the control box and cut the control wires and spliced them. And we put about a 12-foot pigtail on them with this Cat6 cable. Now there's uh, 10 control wires, so... I found my 23 gauge Cat 6 copper is about a little bit heavier gauge wire and we could push it through here so that it would make a nice loop and you'd be plenty of loop inside of here that you could pull out if you needed to service the AC. It runs up behind the rain screen and goes through the wall right here. I'll show you what that looks like on the other end. comes through the wall here and is connected to the back of the controller. Of course that comes with remote and everything else. We just use these uh, wire connectors, that are telephone wire connectors, they don't require any splitting or, of the, um, or stripping of the wire and you just press them on. And since I used two wires I marked one with the tape and one without the tape and those wires have the same color wires in them so I wanted to be sure and build myself a journal to attach all the right colors to the right colors and that's what I did over here now you can pick any color you want just be consistent with what comes out of the unit and what goes on the back of the control box We'll also add some connectors to the AC unit, waterproof connectors, so that you can pull it apart and service it. And notice on our vent here that vents into the room that this register is darker on the right than it is on the left. That's because the 90 elbow is off-centered over there to the right. And we did that because we want more airflow into the room and it hits that side of the register which vents towards the room and only a little bit of the 90 hits the register that vents towards that wall right there and of course we cut that back in to that sip and insulated it with West Marine epoxy we cut it about an inch and three quarters deep so that we could open and close it as necessary for the winter that's our return air um, next time you see it it will have a nice frame around it and a filter unit. We left a gap, two and a half inch gap behind the uh, cabinet and under the cabinet so that it doesn't have to draw all of its air through the cabinet. In fact, the main thing is to keep the cubic inches of the opening of the AC, uh, the intake on the AC, uh, at least that many cubic inches in the return air. And the same for the output on the AC. You want the same amount of cubic inches. This one worked out to um, an 8 inch pipe. 8 inch duct work works fine. Do you see how that just slips right in there? And there's our a regular register box sitting on top of the plenum. And that's what it looks like complete. So let's take a closer look. When we built the plenum 
on the last one we used plywood and it was just a mock-up so you could see what we were doing and we've been running it now for several months this is high density resin signboard with aluminum cladding and vinyl on the outside of each one of them this is weatherproof waterproof it's just not going to rot in my lifetime <clears throat> so we put the corners together and then we fiberglass them tell you what let's take one more closer look at it a little slower this time because this is really important you can go to any of your sign building companies and ask for this and they'll have bundles of it in the back where they have rejected signs or signs that they never were purchased or picked up and if you're nice enough they might just give it to you see that beautiful shiny silver that is aluminum on both sides and solid resin interior it's not a medium density board which is plywood inside this is high density it's a quarter inch so we would draw our plenum out cut it to size and then super glue the corners together and that would hold it together until we would bring our woven roving fiberglass mesh and our West Marina si system and bond those corners on the outside all the way around. Here's some other things we use. We use foil tape and we use butyl tape. We love butyl tape but it doesn't stick forever so you have to use a foil tape on the edges. And this air duct sealant is how we turn boxes like this. This is a negative pressure box and we've turned it into a high pressure box. It's generally at the end of the air system and the register sits in front of it so air comes this way but we're going to convert it to where it goes air goes that way and you have to be aware that air can leak around all these corners so we coated all of this insulation with foil tape all the way wrapped it all the way around to the ductwork and everywhere we saw a leak and then we ran about half of that container inside of there of the uh, sealant and on the side right here, we had to build it up with epoxy, and we turned that little lip down so that it wouldn't catch any water because it does sit outside even though it's in a mechanical garage. You'll use that, uh, this type of West Marine system right here. It's pretty simple. We use this for all kinds of stuff. We cut that about three inches, mix these guys evenly, and spread it on the corners. Then we cover, cover it with this double bubble R foil. Now it's sealed on the bottom. There's a, a gasket on the bottom. There's none on top. It's a nice tight seal and you see how easily it comes in, it goes in and comes out for cleaning, washing, repair, replacement. You need to clean your AC units twice a year. I don't care what AC unit you have. People neglect them terribly and they live poorly because of a result of uh, polluted air. Let's take a look inside of this plenum. You'll see where the register comes through and the white sealant all inside of it. And we of course painted it with some nice bright epoxy paint after all our corners were sealed just to make it look nice. And here's our return air. Gasket on the outside. Came with the AC and then of course butyl tape and foil tape at the wall penetrations we do that everywhere and you see underneath there is a couple of self-tapping aluminum screws and that's what holds this to the wall and you need to use aluminum or stainless because you, you end up with moisture inside of your, your your AC system and you don't want anything to rust and rot in there and keep breathing that. So the cold air goes up and through and this unit really does a fine job. See how that can easily stick on there? A little bit of um, 3M self-adhesive or tight bond uh, heavy-duty adhesive. You spray it on and then stick your r to everything and it makes a nice thermal barrier slide this baby in and it sits just like that super easy operation give us a thumbs up if you think it's okay
and like Flynn. Okay, so we use a signboard too to build this waterproof tray, and the water goes and drips off the edges here. We just heated that up with a heat gun and put it between a couple of screwed boards and bent it over. And we'll cover that with epoxy as just like the garage floor for aesthetic purposes. It's never going to rot. In the front right there, you can see that we've turned the lip up on it so that no water goes forward onto our garage floor there or towards the house. Everything is angled back away from the house about a quarter bubble. That's the front. Nice, easy to bend, easy to work with. And the water just slides right back here and off. Every AC unit needs to displace water. And you want to keep this frame, even though it's pressure treated, you want to keep it dry. We will coat that all with epoxy. So that's what the system looks like. I hope you can build a plenum like this. Let us know if you have any questions or if you want us to go into more detail, like uh, dimensions and whatever else you can think of. So you can build your own central AC unit that is easily repairable, replaceable, and washable for about $350.